Hey up, how you doing? I tell you what, here in Yorkshire, it's really blooming miserable. It usually makes it so much better if you can get out and do some detecting. At least you can bury yourself in the hobby and find something in the hole, if there is anything in the hole. So I can't even get over to my coastal permissions where my best land is, because we're all in lockdown. And if you are outside the UK and you're not aware, the UK is one month into a lockdown. No, it's not. It's two weeks into a one month lockdown. And it's driving us all mad. I mean, I'm looking out the window there, just thinking, with little cricket fields just over there, where I found 850 coins in two acres. And it's amazing. I can't even go over there, and it's 15 feet from my front door, would you believe? Although somebody actually spread the rumour that in lockdown number one, that's exactly what I did. But I didn't. Um, anyway, I thought I would, for the next month or so anyway well we can't get out bring you some random bits and pieces still to do with metal detecting but i really want to know what you do with the things that you find do you showcase them you know have you got a display case do you put them in a little set of drawers cupboards or whatever do you clean them do you not clean them i'm just interested oh, i want to get over there to know what you do well, somebody asked me the other day what I did. And do you know, I'm as guilty as a lot of people in our hobby. I mean, stick them in the little drawer. I've got a set of drawers over there. I think some of you have seen them before. So I've decided what I'm going to do, um, certainly on my social media, whether it be Twitter or Facebook, is, or maybe YouTube as well, is just bring one or two things out and tell you about them, you know, the history about them how I found them, where I found them, how maybe they got there. Some details about the artefact or coin, if I possibly can. One thing I do want to tell you is this. Um, last, m no, two months ago, I sent a Roman coin. It's this one. Pisanius Niger, a black emperor, Roman emperor of Syria. And... I found his silver Roman denarius here in England, uh, in Yorkshire, not on the coast, but on one of my pastures, believe it or not. And I decided I was going to sell it. I recorded it on the PAS, but they put on the listing on the British Museum that this Pisanius Niger, silver Roman denarius, was the only one ever found and recorded on the British Museum at that time. And it still is the only one ever found and recorded on the British Museum database. Because of that, I decided it must be rare. And I thought, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll ask Hansen's coin valuers in Essex who run auctions what they think. They took a look with a video chat with me and said, can you post it to us? And they advised me to put a reserve in the next auction, which was the beginning of November of 600 pounds on it they said it could go up to 15 to 1800 pounds but the problem is you do need two people in the auction room or online who are bidding against each other if those two people aren't there it's not going to drive the price up but it's highly collectible um send it to us and we'll see if we can put it into the auction and with a reserve of 600 pounds which they advised so i did sadly the auction was cancelled because of the coronavirus pandemic and it wasn't allowed to take place, except it took place online. And there weren't two people there bidding against each other for it. And they suggested they put it in again in the new year where it should meet the estimate that they gave. Well, I've decided that I am going to offer it for sale. So if anybody is interested in making me offer an offer over and above that reserve price of 600, um, then the best man wins. You can have it. Meanwhile, here's another Roman coin, a silver denarius, which I was thrilled about at the end of my little project because I decided to take another coin, turn it into a coin ring, make a bezel for this Roman silver. It's a Commodus, one of the last Roman denariuses I found. And it's not on a video that long ago. It's only about maybe two months ago that it's on one of my videos. So I've cleaned it up. I made a bezel 
and I made the bezel to go onto the coin ring, which was American half dollar. And this is exactly what happened. Enjoy. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and maybe even join the VIP club. I'll let you look at that now and see what you think. Stephen digs it up and then pimps it up so you can wear it. 